Hello guys, my name is Disney Alex and welcome to my new series called 5 Minute History. In this series, we're going to do the history of different attractions around the Disney parks in just under 5 minutes. In this episode, we're going to go over the history of the People Mover. The People Mover was originally opened on July 2nd, 1967 in Disneyland. The ride was called the Goodyear People Mover. At the time of ride opening, guests boarded small cars that went through Tomorrowland. The cars were not powered and instead used rotating wheels every 9 feet to propel the car. The attraction had covers over each car and featured an open track. The attraction was modeled after the Weedway system used for the Ford Magic Skyway at the 1964-65 New York's World Fair. When Disney asked Ford Motors to sponsor the ride, they declined as they were afraid this technology would replace automobiles. Disney then asked Goodyear to sponsor the ride. They accepted, hence the Goodyear People Mover. The logo for the People Mover was modeled off of Goodyear's logo. Goodyear sponsored the attraction until December 31st, 1981. An interesting piece of history in the Disneyland People Mover is that in 1977, the Super Speed Tunnel was added to it. Race cars were projected on the walls of the tunnels. And in 1982, the projections became Tron themed and the attraction was renamed People Mover Through the World of Tron. The ride continued its running until August 1995 and was replaced with the Rocket Rods in 1998. Since then, Rocket Rods has closed, but the track of both attractions still remains. Now we will discuss the history of the People Mover in Disney World. The attraction was opened on July 1st, 1975 and was based on the Disneyland version. It was first called the Weedway People Mover and kept its name until 1994. It was called the Weedway People Mover, um, W-E-D Way, because Walter Elias Disney, so they called it the Weedway People Mover. The ride was the opposite of Disneyland's version, as it featured open-air cars with a ceiling over the track. The ride did not use propulsion wheels, but linear synchronous motors. Because of this, Goodyear did not sponsor the attraction, however, Edison Electric Institute did. Original narration was done by voice actor Jack Wagner until June 1985, when the narration was replaced with the voice of ORAC-1, the commuter computer, which was used until June 11, 1994. The attraction then received a makeover for the new Tomorrowland. Originally the tunnel where Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin is currently located, the People Mover looked into attractions Mission to Mars and If You Had Wings. In 1994, the attraction changed names to the Tomorrowland Transit Authority and lasted with this name until 2009. A new narration was done by Pete Renaday who broadcasted from TTA Central. The attraction was closed on Sunday, April 19, 2009 with the refurbishment of Space Mountain and later opened back up on September 12, 2009. It was officially given the name People Mover on August 5, 2010 and received narration changes from Mike Brassel. An interesting note of the People Mover is that it drives on the left side of the track opposite of American Customs. Thank you all for watching this week's 5 Minute History. If you did like the content here today, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more. As always, have a good week. Disney Alex, signing out.